Paris inspired makeup tutorial and this way is this Adorno grungy look that I absolutely love for a while that David said that she has been doing the same look for a while but she never looked better in my opinion so I am completely over it all I find it interesting how I created this Adorno inspired grungy look please keep on watching so I already done my foundation lip moisturizer. Then I'm moving to this sleek acid palette. Use the bright orange and take a big blush brush to paint it all on the lid and bring it all down and out. And then focusing more on the outer corner because that's where the focus will be. Then just generally blending out. Then I'm moving to this. TS31 palette, Cava Cabana, and then use the pastel pink to blend it out more for the evenness into the skin. Then move to this essence, shadow base is Black Queen. Pack that with a flat brush to hold on my eyelid and slightly blend out and not to leave any harsh line or if or after we pack our shadow on it will leave there so then let's go back to the next palette and use the dark brown and take a big shading brush just bring it on around the eyes around the lid just leave the inner lid space empty and just pack it all on to Tower brow bone, then go back. I use the medium warm bronzy brown, or you can just use any bronzer. Basically, you just want the warm orange brown color and blend it out with the dark brown. And because I still want some glam with this look, so I mix. Mess, cut a throne and desert together to and pack all on, on the center of my eyelid to give it some nice shimmer. Then take from the same MAC palette, take the black carbon and use a small shading brush to deepen out the outer V and the inner corner of the lid. Then moving to the brow with the same black eyeshadow cover and just take a small and just take a small eyebrow brush, first outline the brow and just fill it in. Then go back to the mat palette and using the lightest colors of our girls to highlight on the brow bone and the inner corner of our eyes. Then just going with a black pencil and line the Top lash line and lower water line. Take a thin brush, just blend out slightly. Just curl lashes and put on some mascara and further really false lashes. Applying the lash glue on the upper side of the band, just shake it a bit, make it tacky. Then go to contour and still in the same next palette and just use the dark brown to shape our forehead. Deepen the cheekbone a little bit. I do 
The chip counter quite small here because I don't want it to overpower the orange we got on the chip. Then just go around the gel line. And then go into the medium bronzy color to counter the nose. I usually use more taupe gray tone color to counter the nose, but with this look, the warm bronzy color looks better. And just use the dark brown to contour on the lid, bring our lips even more. And then remove the lip moisturizer and take Kate Von D's dark lipstick and using the dark color motor hair to outline the lip and overdraw a little bit on the upper lip. I personally don't need to overdraw a lot because I already have a very big lips. But I don't draw her lips like really really big, so it really depends how you would like to do it and how your natural lip shape is. And then I'm moving to a blood red half a gram. Which also the star lipstick correction by Kate Von D and fill it in all the lip and blend those colors together. Then just use the concealer to clean out where we messed up. And that's it, we're done, easy as that, and fierce as fuck, so... So, thank you for watching, remember just comment, subscribe, like, share all the nice stuff, and see you next time, party!